Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 3 practice test for T Capt and Ready. Question number 27, we're in subpart 3, so you could use calculator, you won't need that here. Some sort of uh, compass tool will be, or protractor tool will be required. Yay. Um, the If you look at the answer sheet, it actually gives you just the same thing as the question, because you have to circumscribe, and apparently they didn't do that, or it didn't print, or something. At least on my copy, I don't know. But uh, create the circumscribed circle, which is to say a circle that has uh, all the points here as uh, part of itself. Like basically the circle completely envelops this triangle. Uh, for triangle RST with vertices in negative 3, 6, 3, 6, and 3, negative 2. At least they put the triangle in for you. So in order to do that, it's not super difficult to do depending on the tool that you have to use. So when I have this, I want to, mine's a little awkward, so I have to rock it back a little bit. So what I'm looking to do here is going a little more than half. You want to go a little more than half the distance between R and S. And then I'm going to draw that. Then I want to bring this over here, flip this bad boy over. So go for the other side. What you're looking for when you do this, and make sure the angle is locked in, uh, is you're looking for these two points. That's that one. For the other one, we're going to do the other leg now. Usually you want to make it so it's a little bit more than... See, here's my problem. I'm not 100% sure I'm over halfway there. So I'm actually going to delete that one and then try it again. This time I'll extend it out a little more so it's much more obvious. And we'll see if I can change the color here. Yep. So I got that. And then I want to go down here. And do the same thing. Ah, good. I got exactly what I needed. What I'm looking for is to create a perpendicular bisector, which is to say I want to go through these spots here and these spots here and try to make a 90 degree angle. I have this weird pink thing going on for some reason, it's fine. Right there. The point of intersection should make a perpendicular bisector. Um, or should make a perpendicular intersection, I should say. And now all I need to do is go back to the old set up here and I'll choose a different color. Let's do it in this red so it's pretty obvious. And I want to put my one part of it here. Rotate this around. Set it right on the point. Right there. Do the best you can to lock it in. It's not going to be exact, and I don't think they're going to mess with you too much for not being totally exact. And there you go. Especially if you're doing it by hand. There is my circle. So start at the end point or in one of the vertices and go a little bit more than half and create your arc. Go to the other side, do the same thing. You're going to uh, intersect both those where they intersect are going to create a line. Same thing here. On through, this will become your center point. Then you want to make sure you go to one of the vertices, it doesn't matter. Circle it all the way around and you have a nice circumscribed circle for triangle R, S, T.